Well, hi again, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of On the Town with uh, Suze and Doug. And uh, she is Suze. Last week, I pointed the wrong way. So she is Suze, <laughs> right away. And I am Doug. And uh, good to be with you again as we, uh, once again, to kind of go into the entertainment uh, topic, right? Uh, we're going to talk about one of our favorite TV shows growing up. And we actually still get to watch it from time to time on, uh, on the Roku channel, uh, The Saint. Yes, yes, yes. I, I love that show. Yeah. <laughs> Roger Moore, uh, favorite actor of both of ours, of course, uh, well known later on as James Bond. But this is a series he did back in the early 1960s. Very popular, shot in Britain. And uh, well, you talk about it first. Uh, How did you get uh, interested in The Saints? Well, you know, uh, my dad, he was uh, he always enjoyed uh, uh, shows like The Avengers with Diana Rigg, Patrick. Right. A, and uh, it was, uh, oh gosh, I'm trying to think, probably back in the 1980s, my dad was talking about a show he used to watch in the 60s called The Saint, because I used to love watching Roger Moore, you know, in the James Bond movies, and he would say, Sue, well, you know, he was in other shows too on TV. And I said, really, Dad? And he said, yes, he said, The Saint. So then I got interested. I wondered what the show was about. And uh, he said it was kind of like a spy type show. They had uh, different stories every week. And it sounded really interesting. So I wanted to see it. I wanted to check it out. Now, was it on locally uh, where you grew up in South Philly or, or in North uh, Carolina? Hey, how, did, a, how did you watch it? Uh, let's see. That's a great question. Um, I think that would have been what in the in the early eighties. Well, that was early, early, yeah. So yeah, in the early night in the early nineteen nineties. Uh, it was on video, I guess. Then, right? Video. I think that you know, I think it was on PBS, like in Southern. Oh, they run it? Yeah. yeah, and I don't know if that was. Uh, I was trying to remember WCAU. Or I was trying to remember the, the New Jersey, the Philadelphia channel right, that right. had it. But I think it was PBS uh, that did it, that uh, had the Saint on there. I think the Avengers was on PBS, too, on Fridays. And, uh, and I think maybe on Fridays and Saturdays, they had a lot of the English comedies. Right, right. Push of Benny Hill. Well, they New York, yeah, on the PBS yeah. I don't think they had the Saint on in New York, or the event, but they had like Benny Hill. They had uh, what uh, Faulty Towers. Remember that well, one? Or that was uh, funny? Uh, Monty Python. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some <laughs> the two Ronnies, which was like a funny comedy, like two guys that just did funny stuff. Well, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I saw originally the show in New York. Uh, they ran them on either Channel Nine or one of those independent channels. I think yeah. it was on Friday night because we were able to stay up and watch it. My dad and I like watching that show. Yeah, so that must have been. I don't know. If, I don't think. I think they were off the air by then. But they must have yeah. run the reruns in New York, maybe in the seventies, early seventies. Seventies. And it was yeah. good. Yeah. It's really fun. Yeah, it, it's really fun to be able to watch those kind of shows. And and uh, when when I saw The Saint, I thought this is really good because it was almost like a. James Bond spy, right? Type, but it was more of a weekly serial type show, and he always same type character though, kind of calm, cool, and collected. But but he still Roger Moore always had that part of him where he was funny and uh, smiled, you know, yeah. at the girls <laughs> you know, on the show, and he was always he liked humor he liked comedy i think so it was cute because he always had that funny side and i think the audience really likes that too yeah it's based it was on, uh some books i believe written in the 30s maybe they oh, always wow. said at the end of the episode based on novels by i think leslie charteris was his name and i think it was an old radio show okay. in the 40s but they brought it to tv i don't know if it was any, they made any movies with it in the 50s or but i think that was the first visual uh, show of the states that he did yeah. in Britain. And I think it was 61, 62, and they ran for like six years. 
And uh, yeah, Roger Moore was he was a pretty well known star then because he had done movies and TV in the fifties. In the fifties, yeah, that, it, uh, that really moved him into the next level. I think. I, I think you're absolutely right. I uh, yeah, from what I uh, remember about Roger Moore. Um, it's interesting, you know, he was an only child, um, and he loved art and he actually wanted to be an artist for his job. That's what he liked to do. He liked drawing and painting. He wanted to go to art school. And, uh, then apparently he was living in London with his parents and people would see him walking, you know, going to school or going to work, uh, you know, just around London. They, and they said, wow, your son should be an actor. <laughs> and then I think that that's... Uh, was a, he a model too? Was he a model first? He was, yeah, I think he was a, clo a men's uh, clothing model, like catalog okay. too. And it seems like at that time, you know, because Marilyn Monroe started out as a model. Right. So, and it seems like a lot of uh, actors and a actresses at the time got their start in modeling. I heard the other. Uh, Sean Connery did the same yeah, thing. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. Wow. And uh, somehow I heard he was a bodybuilder or something. I don't know if my dad he, told me. That. Good shape. I don't know if I guess he was. Yeah. He was, yeah, he was an athletic I, I, guy. I know he played like rugby and soccer and okay, box. Kind of, you know, the athletic guy. But yeah, he was, he was a was. male model, I believe, too, starting out. Yeah. Yeah. So they, um, I don't know if it was catalog. I'm guessing catalog. catalog Probably, yeah. Too. Right. And uh, then he got into films. Yeah, is he got guess, into Did he go to that Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts? That's great. You know, that's a really I think, he, great I, think he probably, I think everybody in London had to go through there if you're going to be in acting. <laughs> acting. And, and uh, yeah, it was just like, and uh, I was trying to think, too, if Roger Moore had ever been in any Hammer films, but it seems like those were mostly horror films, but oh, really? uh, like more in the 70s, I guess, right. 60s, 70s, those films. But yeah, some of those actually were pretty scary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I remember. I didn't did any of those. Yeah, he, he, yeah he, I didn't. Uh, the Christopher did. Lee. I don't think he ever did any really like hard dramatic. He always kind of a light. Comedy. More of a life, yeah. I, I like that about Roger Moore. Yeah, because uh, I, I liked how his actor, and, and he, I don't think he ever played a bad guy either. I don't think it's so. No, like, he wouldn't accept it as a bad guy. Uh, yeah, I, I, he just, <laughs> um, I, he, he was so good at doing, you know, the guy who, to help the girl in distress and uh, kind of beat up the bad guys and the saint. Like he always was kind of the bit of the macho guy that was, right. but he just enjoyed that. Show. It was just a good. When I first started watching it, though, and even if you watch it today, you can watch it on the you know Roku channel, one of those streaming yeah. services. You, you wouldn't be quite sure at the beginning is he like a good guy totally? You know, because there's always like uh, the policeman that yeah. talks to him says, oh, you know, you're here to rob somebody. You know, like he's a Robin Hood type of guy, but he always does good things. Absolutely. So He's yeah. a good guy, but there's always kind of ambiguity, ambiguity I guess. Uh, the police aren't quite sure, you know? Absolutely, yes. It's, it's interesting. But he does, if he does anything, it's to help out or, you know, get rid of the bad guys. I mean, he does get good things. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, uh, but it's a little yeah. mystery behind him. Like, you don't know his background much, you know? It's interesting, yeah. The I character. guess it, there's always, uh, with The Saint, for me, there's always one episode that especially comes to mind. And uh, it was the one with, with Loch Ness, where he's in Scotland. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, and there's the uh, girl there. Yeah, and then he, uh, she's in distress. He gives her a ride. <laughs> and uh, it was like the perfect one for him. Yeah. He had and the great he, car, too, the great British sports car. I, I don't know what kind it was, but it was a Porsche or whatever it was. But it had was a cool a, car. Really, yeah, it was, a, it was a really nice, like a convertible type car. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah, cool, cool car. Yeah. But he was always, every episode, he was in a different part of the world, it seemed. Yeah, Rome, like traveling. Down and, Miami. I'm in London, too, but he was traveling all the time. Don't quite know how he made his money. That's <laughs> what I he was from a wealthy family, but we don't know. 
Yeah, and because he he didn't work for the police. Oh no, no. And I don't think he was a spy. He helped them out, but he was kind of independent, and everybody knew who he was. Remember at the beginning, the, the, the beginning Simon. little scene was, oh, that's Simon Templar, and then a little halo would would come above I his head. I love that. Yeah, it was <laughs> and the music and those shows. Great theme that, music. Yeah, great great theme song. So yeah. good. Yeah, and there's so many. Uh, People, uh, I know ladies especially enjoyed tuning in. Uh, I've read stories. It was one of those where women loved them, you know, for what the women liked. And then guys liked them because he was like a cool guy. And and he got the ladies. (laughs) Yeah. And, and, you know, his, as an actor, Roger Moore, he's, uh, he's such an interesting man because, yeah, he, just like you said, Doug, he's, he seems to be an actor that, of course, the women liked, but also guys yeah. liked too. He wasn't like this guy that the guys didn't like. The guys liked him too because he seemed like a decent guy that was funny. Right. And he's like, you know, a normal Joe kind of a guy. And so they could kind of relate to him too. So that's what I really like. He was an actor that both men and women yeah. could, could relate to, you know, uh, seemed to like enjoyed watching and his show you know and his movies the bond films yeah, i'd read uh, that they actually offered him the james bond movie back in the early 60s but he was doing the oh. saint he couldn't uh, couldn't take it oh wow so, uh, i don't know if he was before sean connery or if he was going to take it over earlier i think you know after sean connery didn't want to do it anymore but yeah. he couldn't do it i think that's why george lazenby got it Oh Remember Sean Connery stopped doing it, and that one guy guy did the one, George Lazenby. Lazenby. And it was going to be Roger Moore, but he was still doing The Saint, so he couldn't get out of The so Saint. This is what I read. I don't know if that's true, but uh, he would have done it earlier than he did. But It's interesting. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, and I thought the guy, I thought the actor George Lazenby did a really good job with, uh, I think it was On Her Majesty's Secret, Secret Service. Service. Right. He did a, I thought it was good. Yeah, right. we'll, do a, we'll do a separate video on James Bond. Maybe next week. We'll Absolutely. Do that. Yeah, but, there's so many. Of them. But yeah, that's. I think that's why uh, he couldn't yeah. do it then. And then, of course, what? Uh, Man with the Golden Gun was his first James Bond movie, right? In '72, three, that something. Was good. Like that. Yeah. yeah, that was a really, uh, that was a really good one. And uh, yeah, and I remember. There was uh, another series you and I saw that he did with Tony Curtis right after the Saint. It was only on one year. The Persuaders. Persuaders, very good. That was really good. He was I saw really- it a couple of years ago. It was on Netflix or something when I had Netflix. And it was yeah. really good. Yeah, They were kind of like two guys going throughout Europe. And they were, uh, I don't know, they weren't like spies, but they were, you know, they'd gotten into these adventures and they'd help people. Yeah. Kind of funny. You know, Tony Curtis was funny, but together they were very good. Yeah. It was really, uh, and you know, and it was so interesting because I never even knew they knew each other or, and then they are working together on that yeah. show. So. Yeah, they only did it one year. I think Tony is going through some personal problems. I saw an interview uh, that Roger Moore did, so it was kind of hard to handle. So they only <laughs> yeah, did it the one so year. Cool, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, he said he had drug problems and stuff, so uh, I think that's what was going on then. But the show was still pretty good. <laughs> it was still good, yeah. And it looked like kind of an early 70s. I think it was 70 or 71. Whenever the saying ended, it was like a, the next year. Yeah. The next year, the Persuaders yeah. came. Yeah, it was really um, very good. And then it, I guess, uh, I'm guessing Roger Moore went into James Bond. I think that's when he got the James Bond uh, offer and then did that. I guess he did the most, right? Wow. So, yeah. It was about like, seven, eight of them? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Uh, I remember uh, the one with Jane Seymour, uh, and that the was Golden like, Gun. And she was in two of them, right? Yeah. Uh, the, uh, let's see, the Man with the Golden Gun, Octopussy. Um, of course, that's more in nineteen eighties. But uh, yeah, and then um, there were some really good ones. Yeah, yeah. In the set, I was trying to remember. Uh, I think Paul McCartney. Wrote the song "Live and Let Die." Yes, that was good. That, yeah. that, that was, was really. That was like a. When the Bond theme songs were good. <laughs> they were really good. It used to be every Bond theme song was great. Now, last I don't know, twenty years, not memorable at all. 
the Bond theme song. Even the movies aren't that great. But that's um, another show. <laughs> I, I really like Roger. We'll talk about that next time when we do Bond. Yeah, but, uh, I, I liked him as Bond. I yeah. just... But yeah, really nice. Uh, I mean, really good actor. Nice, seemed like a nice man. I mean, uh, he'd yeah. go on like Johnny Carson and very good on those talk shows too. He always had great stories, right? Yeah, he, guy. yeah. He just seemed like a very relatable, nice guy. Seemed, he loved his family. I believe um, he had uh, did he have a son. I think he had a son. I think he had. Uh, I think he had a son. I'm trying to think if he had a daughter. I'm not sure. Yeah, I thought he talked about his son. Son. Uh, I'm not sure if the son was not a guy that you heard a lot of scandal about. Really, no, I never heard anything scandalous about him. So you know, seemed uh, to live a pretty good life. You know, yeah, seemed like a a decent uh, guy. He was he 91, 92, so pretty good run. Yeah, yeah. that's real. Yeah, and it, it's uh, and he's just a very memorable man. And the Saint was definitely a series that. You know, I, I know it started out black and white. Black and, and white it, for two or three seasons, then they went to color. The color one, it really kind of almost like uh, shocks you a little bit when you see that first color episode, you know? It looks totally yeah. different. Yeah. Yes, it's totally, yeah, yeah it's totally uh, different, and it gives the uh, show a new, a different flavor. Yeah. And I'm sorry about my dog, Ty. I'm just going to pick well, you, show them, you can show them again. Oh, my goodness. I apologize here, everyone. Um, hold on. I just. I was taking a nap when we started this, but he woke up. Yes, he was taking his <laughs> little nap here, and now a little. Hunting. Well, we'll wrap this up anyway. We we we. Oh we my goodness! It, but, uh, we'll is. show show Ty. <laughs> here get we him go. Nap there. Here's Ty. So little Ty. Here you go, sweetie. Whoop! And you can't really see me, but here's Ty. There we go. It's Ty. Want to see Ty. There's Ty. There's Ty. <laughs> and here's Ty was ben. a big fan of uh, of Roger Moore too, as is Hope. Yes, here's, here's Hope. <laughs> yes, here's, here's me. But yes, Ty was definitely whenever I have a the Saint episode on or Persuaders, Ty's like he's watching too, and <laughs> Hope being female, she she's she like it too. <laughs> And again, you can see it on, I believe it's uh, Tubi and Freebie. Yes. I've seen it on there. We watch it uh, on there. So yes. it's free. You can go on, uh, as long as you have a Roku, uh, yeah. or you go online on, the, on your computer, you can watch them. So You can definitely uh, do that. And it's really uh, definitely a Well, matter. worth it. Yeah, one Show. TV was still good. <laughs> it was, TV was still good and definitely memorable. Definitely yeah. uh a good choice always and it's family and family friendly family entertainment nothing that's going to make you cringe i mean you know it's a little adventure you know there's a little shoot 'em ups once in a while but it's nothing gory it's, it's no it's no. fun violence <laughs> yeah it, it's if you want to call it that but it's action it's not violent it's action yeah it's action and adventure and yeah. you feel good watching it yeah it, it's and every episode good. ends up good so you, you feel good at the end absolutely <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that'll wrap up this edition of uh, On the Town, as we remember Roger Moore and the Saint tonight. So, Sue's uh, always a pleasure to do this, and we'll do it again next time, or we'll talk a little James Bond. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, uh, well, good night, everyone, and uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. We'll see you again soon.